Welcome to my solo trip to Austria. In this video, I'll show you the top three places you can visit on your trip. And our first stop is Salzburg, where we'll see some of the most iconic filming locations from The Sound of Music. First is the Schloss Leopoldsgrün, a beautiful estate that was used as the exterior of the Von Trapp family home. Today the estate is a hotel with gorgeous gardens and beautiful walkways. Join me on a special tour of this unforgettable place. The estate was built in 1736, and it has breathtaking views of the surrounding lake and mountains. I especially enjoyed walking the grounds. You'll recognize this part of the estate from the movie when Maria and the children greet Captain Von Trapp after they've fallen into the lake. It's also the setting for many more memorable moments in the movie, such as Maria's return. The estate makes for a wonderful visit and you'll enjoy strolling the grounds and taking in the stunning views. And if you're not a hotel guest, you can still book a tour on the website on select days. Next, let's take a tour inside of the historic estate where we'll discover so much more. Inside is an exquisite dining room with incredible architecture. There is also an elegant and enchanting library that makes for the perfect reading place. The library even has a secret door that leads to the second level. Close by is also a sitting room with gorgeous furniture and stunning details. There is also another dining area for guests to enjoy. It's so much fun retracing the footsteps of the Von Trapp family here, and I enjoyed the fresh air and lush gardens before moving on to the next Sound of Music filming location on my bucket list. Next, we'll visit the Mirabel Palace and Gardens. The gardens are a colorful oasis in Salzburg city center. They were designed in the Baroque style and date back to the 1600s. You'll soon find the path where Maria and the children sang Do Re Mi. This is right in front of the Pegasus Fountain that was built in 1913. The children's lively march around the fountain always stood out in my memory and it's a fun part of the film. Also make sure to stop by the beautiful Rose Garden directly in front of Mirabel Palace. A stroll in these gardens is absolutely magical, and you'll be transported right into the Von Trapp family's world. Next, we'll visit the iconic gazebo from The Sound of Music, located on the grounds of Hellbrunn Palace. This is where Liesel and Rolf dance and sing the duet, 16 going on 17. Today, fans of the movie recreate the scene as a special tribute to the film, and I was thrilled to see the scene from the movie come to life. It's truly a joy to see that the sound of music still holds a special place in people's hearts. Next, it was time to explore the grounds of Hellbrunn Palace, built by Prince Archbishop Marcus Sidicus in the 17th century. The palace was a place for enjoyment and recreation in the south of Salzburg. I especially liked this mechanical theater that depicts life in a small Baroque city. There are also many trick fountains on the grounds, with hidden jets that astonish unsuspecting visitors. I walked through some of these myself, and it's so much fun because you never know when the water is going to shoot out at you. The name Hellbrunn means healing springs, and it's an ideal place for rest and relaxation. And you'll enjoy the beautiful scenery as you explore the grounds. 
And now it's time to explore more of Salzburg. Salzburg is also the birthplace of Amadeus Mozart. You can visit two of his first homes here. These are the Mozart birthplace and Mozart residence. I'll be sure to link them down below. Afterwards, make your way over to the Mozart Cafe where you can order traditional Austrian desserts. I was really excited to check out the menu and I ordered a delicious apple strudel. Another popular dessert is the Salzburger Knockerl. I tried this one at a different location. It's a light and fluffy souffle. Later that evening, I enjoyed a Mozart dinner concert in a beautiful Baroque hall. The performers wore authentic costumes and the setting makes you feel like you've been transported back to the 1790s. This unique setting was a perfect way to experience Mozart's music. From Salzburg, you can take a day trip to the second destination on our Austrian itinerary, and that's Hallstatt. It's one of the most visited places in Europe, and with these stunning alpine landscapes, you can see why. The views are out of this world. By the lake is a charming village full of shops and restaurants. You'll also see the iconic evangelical church built in 1785. The fresh air and clean, sparkling water make Hallstatt a great destination. You can also take a gondola up to Hallstatt's famous salt mines. Once inside, it was time to set off and wander through several tunnels and passageways. There is also a 64 meter long slide that takes you deeper into the mine. Soon, it was my turn, and what an absolute rush. Afterwards, you board a small mining train that takes you on a ride through the tunnels and heads for the exit. Then you're back outside, ready to enjoy Hallstatt's epic views once more. Next, we're heading to our third destination, the beautiful city of Vienna. Vienna has a delightful culinary scene and I enjoyed an Aperol spritz as well as a delicious chicken pasta before making my way to one of the city's top sites. Schönbrunn Palace The palace was an imperial summer residence for the Habsburg royal family. The park at Schönbrunn Palace was open to the public around 1779. Today, visitors enjoy the beautiful gardens that boast exquisite flowers, and the park extends for 1.2 kilometers from east to west. Be sure to check out the Gloriette at the top of the hill. The inside served as a dining room for the Imperial family, and today it's a cafe for visitors. I enjoyed a delicious ice cream dessert and admired the intricate architecture of the Gloriette. Next, it was time to tour the inside of the palace where you can see portraits of the Empress Sissi, as well as the stunning Great Gallery and many more imperial treasures. Schönbrunn Palace is on the UNESCO list of World Heritage Sites and its sweeping views and gorgeous gardens make it one of Vienna's top attractions. Another top site is Vienna's Volksgarten, or People's Garden. It was owned by the Imperial Court and opened to the public in 1823. Here you'll find a monument built to commemorate the beautiful Empress Elizabeth. It's a very relaxing part of the gardens. You'll also see the neoclassical Theseus Temple, as well as a marble monument of Mozart in the nearby Burgarten, the second former private garden of the Habsburg family. Next, we'll visit the Hofburg Palace and tour the state apartments. From elegant dining rooms, to detailed and striking artwork, 
to elaborate royal gowns, you'll be transported to a different era. Also stop by the Spanish Riding School, where you can meet the world-famous Lipitzin Horses. They perform in the Riding Hall and undergo years of training to learn sophisticated jumps and choreography. And after you've visited Vienna's museums, enjoy the many wonderful cafes, whether it's for breakfast, where you can enjoy a melange coffee and a tasty omelette, or explore the wide range of options for lunch and dinner. The choices are endless. And last but not least, from Austria you can take a one-hour flight to Germany and explore its Bavarian region. This is the famous Linderhof Palace, built by King Ludwig II in the 1800s. The palace was inspired by Versailles and has many beautiful courtyards and fountains. This is the Neptune Fountain and I enjoyed the gorgeous views of the mountain scenery before heading to King Ludwig's second palace. Less than an hour drive away, deep in what felt like an enchanted forest, I caught my first glimpse of Neuschweinstein Castle. It was built in the 1800s but was made to resemble a much older medieval castle. It's located in the Bavarian Alps and overlooks the Hohenschwangau Valley. The name Neuschweinstein means Swan Castle, and its charm and fairy tale qualities capture the interest of more than 1.4 million visitors each year. It was the perfect way to end my trip. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, comment, and ring the bell for notifications. And I'll see you in the next video.